Are you sick and tired of working your tail off, but you still feel like you can never get ahead? You always feel like you're behind? Maybe you're playing the wrong game. You're using up your most valuable and non-renewable resource, which is time. When you go to work, you're trapped in this cycle of exchanging your precious time for money. What if I told you there's a way to break free from this trap? In this video, I'll show you how to make your money work even harder than you so that you can become a lazy ass bastard, achieve financial independence, and spend your time on what matters most to you. To break free from the wage slave cycle, you need to reach what I call escape velocity. This means buying assets that grow and earn enough passive income, I'll use passive residual kind of interchangeably, passive income to replace your living expenses. And once your passive income exceeds your living expenses, your pile, then you're free. Once you have enough pile of money to cover your living expenses, you're, you're done. You don't need to work anymore. You no longer need to exchange your time for money to that jerk of a boss anymore you can tell that boss to go pound sand. This should be your mission in life. Once you hear this lesson, you should, you should think, I have to do this. Like, I, I've finally found my purpose. I have to go tell my boss, I don't need you anymore. To create this basic level of finance independence gives you so much freedom that you can't even hardly imagine what it's like. Instead of spending money on silly things like designer clothes or fancy cars or the latest watch or gadget or whatever it is that you get into to impress people that you don't even like in the first place, instead, focus on investing in assets. Use your cash to buy assets to grow in value and that will generate passive income along the way. So what are these assets that you can invest in to create passive income? It sounds great, doesn't it? But what are these things? Give me the secrets. Well, it's no big secret. You buy stocks, you buy a uh, business, you buy real estate, you start your own business. Somehow you have to buy, build, or create equity. The challenge with stocks though, is that they can take quite a bit longer to generate significant returns and you don't have any control over the outcome. So in my opinion, buying single family rentals or multifamily rentals like apartments is the best asset class for most people. And here's why I think so. Real estate is just super easy to understand. Like we've all lived in a house or an apartment before. Like we know what these things are. It, it, you're basically renting in a rectangle and you know what people want inside that rectangle. So it really isn't that hard to understand. Furthermore, real estate offers huge tax advantages so that when you are earning your income, it's sheltering your income so that you're not paying as much in taxes. So you actually need to learn, earn less than what you do if you're a W-2 employee. And it's relatively easy to qualify for the financing it takes to buy property. So you can borrow a percentage of the, the property and borrow it for somebody else and have your income from the rents pay that debt down. So by investing in rental properties, you can create a steady stream of passive residual income that will help you reach this escape velocity, this pile of money, and you can achieve financial independence. Now, I know what you're thinking. Investing in real estate sounds like a lot of work. And you know what, it is. But here's the thing, you can be a lazy ass bastard and still make it work. You can hire a property manager to handle the day-to-day -day operations of leasing and managing uh, repairs and whatnot. And you can sit back and collect the rent checks from the property manager who's doing most of the work. Or if you're feeling extra lazy, you can invest in real estate syndications or a fund where someone else is truly doing all the work and all you're doing is putting cash into this syndication. The key here is to make that you're sure that your money is working harder than you so that you can enjoy the fruits of your investments without sacrificing your precious time. You're not having to give up time in order to make more money. Is it easy? No, of course not. But it is simple. And you're already grinding away at work anyway. You're already busy. You're already working hard. Might as well work hard towards something that you own. You can have a, find a way to create equity by buying assets something that you own and has a chance to grow into more over time. It grows in value and gives you cash along the way. So quit renting your time to your boss and get to work on building something for yourself because nobody else is going to do it for you. That boss does not want you to go out and build your own company or start your own investment strategy. They want you to work. I've done it. I've helped other people do it. 
My mentors have shown me how to build this kind of buying asset strategy. This is a very realistic strategy of buying rental properties. And it's not some hyped up fad. People have owned and rented property for as long as there's been a monetary system. It's a business that offers just this fundamental need of housing. Everybody needs it. Even if you're homeless, you, gotta, you need shelter. So by investing in rental properties and buying income producing assets, you can create a stream of passive income that will help you reach escape velocity. And you can sit back and then be a lazy ass bastard. And I call that working smart. Not instead of working hard, why, why do that? Like play, play the smart game. Remember, time is your most valuable resource and you can never ever get it back. Once you give up and rent that time, you can never get it back. So start investing in assets that will give you the freedom to live life on your own terms so that you can spend your time the way you want. And so if you're ready to start learning this journey towards financial independence and become a lazy ass bastard like me, check out this video and I'll make sure to grab the resources in the description below for more resources on being a real estate investor. But don't be so lazy that you don't like or subscribe because you're going to miss out on all the tips and tricks I'll share in future videos. Here's to you being a future lazy ass bastard.